Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. ryoji -kun. Oh. And one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying. So you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then. Okay. Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I wasn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will 
bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nitz really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. Sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. <sighs> Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way whenever you play this music box. I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? That's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight, so I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. On the promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus. And that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Appraiser's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, after today, you'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll 
I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Miyoji-kun. I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess. Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, so long then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. One month until January 31st. We'll get through this together. Make it a good one. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man. I totally overslept. Why did I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? It was about zombies in Italy or something. Anyone else catch it? Why would I watch something like that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? I already stopped by enough shrines on my jogs. I'd say I'm covered. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't wanna deal with the New Year's traffic. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. Apparently, Mitsuru-san got kimonos for all of them. Kimonos, huh? I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it. Huh? You're going to the shrine? I thought you didn't want to go through the trouble. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just going for a walk. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have anything better to do, so I'll tag along. Oh, I'll go too. Look at that! Turns out we all want to go after all! Where is it? Oh, I have directions. Sweet! Happy New Year! Let's all give it our best! Anyhow, you guys are late. We were just about to leave. You can time. What? Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Iori? Kirito senpai. You look amazing. I, I feel like I'm. Oh. What's this feeling? Excuse me. Happy New Year, everyone. 
I've never worn a kimono before. Um, my obi isn't crooked, is it? Luca, wow, you look just... Oh. Wow! Hey, come on! This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Hi, John. Considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. Uh, is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? Uh, I'm so glad I came. Best New Year ever. Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, what a beautiful first dream of the new year. Right, Sonata-san? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. By the way, aren't you guys cold? Yeah, a little. But I think it's kind of helping me wake up. Oh, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said you don't have any other layers. Other layers? <gasps> wow, aren't you just a great role model for Amada-kun? No, 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 wait, wait! fortune and it said great luck I'm sure that means everything will work out for the best <sighs> seriously Junpei of all the dumb things you could say anyway it's nice that we get the chance to go out like this every once in a while let's just try to stay positive and chin up Wearing something like this on New Year's really makes me feel more put together. Although the sash makes it a little hard to breathe. Planning on heading back? Oh. I'm not used to seeing the girls dressed like that. Not sure why, but I get a little flustered looking at them. Fuka? I, uh, I wished for a great year. I know it sounds boring, but that's what I really want. That's what I wished for as well. We all wished for the same thing. However, I'm not praying for divine help. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah. I know we can. We should get going. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
me. Yes. All right. Go. <laughs> nice one. Let's get out of here. I want to go home and take a shower. 